Hey guys, today I will be teaching you how to make a basic geometry in Star CCM. Um, the benefit of this is that you can uh, make new, you can make new models and and update models without having to wait for someone with SolidWorks or a different 3D CAD software to make them for you. So um, that's why, uh, even though the Star CCM package isn't uh, the best CAD package, it is helpful um, in helping projects move forward quicker. So we're going to go ahead and create a new file here. We're going to choose Serial up here, and I have my my um, Power On Demand code there. And we'll wait for it to start up. Today we're going to model a cylinder um, full of water, uh, or a cylinder of water, and there will be a heated rod that is stuck into the water. Um, and this is just the first video to show you how to do the geometry, but that's kind of the goal. So we will begin by creating a new 3D CAD model by, by right-clicking this node here and selecting New. You'll find that right-clicking is a very big part of uh, using Star CCM. So we will select the XY plane by left-clicking it, and then right-click it to create a sketch. We'll choose a circle here, and we'll zoom in so we can see this nice little grid and try and place it right at the origin. Now, in order to give it a dimension, we will right left-click the circle, uh, I apologize, right-click the circle, and select Apply Radius Dimension. Uh, we're going to make this uh, 100 centimeters, so 0.1 meters. Sorry, that's 10 centimeters. I will hit OK. And then we will hit OK down here in the left as well. Now, the sketch here is what we have just created, this circle. Now, in order to get a solid, we will extrude this sketch by right-clicking on the sketch that we want to extrude and coming down to this option, Extrude. Um, now, the way to navigate this, this field is if you want to rotate or move your model like this, you left-click and move up and down. If you would like to slide it back and forth, you right-click and you move your mouse around. And if you want to zoom in or out, zoom in, zoom out with the scroll wheel. So we here have our, our options for extruding. For now, we're going to accept all these default options. We want this to be 0.1 meters in height as well. So we'll say OK. And there we have a good extrude. Now, we would like to create a sketch on top of this to cut out the cylinder for the solid. We're not going to be modeling the solid right now, but we will be um, cutting it out the section and applying boundary conditions to that section as if there were a solid rod sticking into the cylinder of water. So we will click here, right click, and select Create Sketch on face. We will then create another circular sketch at the origin and we will right click it to apply a radius dimension this time of 0 0.01 meters for radius. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's make that a little bit bigger. Let's make that twice as big. That's better. So we will now uh, say OK. And now we're going to do a different operation called an extrude cut on this sketch. Um, we could drill it all the way through, but that wouldn't be realistic in this case. So I'd like to extrude it down. We'll change the method to blind, which gives us the option to change how much, uh, how far that cylinder is cut away. And we'll give a new distance of 0 0.075 meters. So it goes three quarters of the way through the cylinder, and then it stops. Um, and we'll hit OK. And as you can see, there's a hole cut in the cylinder. You can hit this button up here to make the scene transparent. So you can see now that there's a cylinder cut away uh, three quarters of the way into our cylinder. We're going to click Close 3D CAD because we're happy with that model. And as you can see, we now have this model. Let's label this model to be water. And then um, in order to make this uh, 3D model an official geometry part, we right-click it and click Create New Geometry Part. And we, we accept the default options in this case. And there we have a new part called Body 1. We will also change this name to Water. 
And finally, we'll come down here to Scenes, and we will create a new geometry scene. And now we can see our part that we just made. And that's going to be it for now. Uh, well, the next video, we will go over the different uh, ways to change uh, and split up the faces on this part and work toward uh, assigning it to a region.